Hey guys, so I am here with a makeup video. <laughs> Joe was whining. Um, she's such a hair. She was just whining before this, and I turn on the camera and she starts laughing and smiling. Um, I'm here doing a makeup video today. Um, I was just feeling kind of girly today, so I was like, why not do a makeup video? And I haven't done one in months and months, so. Um, I just thought I would do the uh, tag that Nikki Tutorials created um, a few years ago. It's called the Perfect Palette Tag. Um, <laughs> she's going to be distracting in this video. <laughs> um, it's called the Perfect Palette Tag, and um, I went on her um, her website. I went on her website, um, Nikki Tutorials, what is it, Nikki Tutorials. Dot com, I think, um, to look up the questions. I, I looked them up on my Kindle. Um, there's eight questions, um, and it's just all about um, palettes. So there's eight questions, so I'm going to answer them. And I have multi I sometimes for a couple questions, I have like a couple palettes because I can't make up my mind. So I will just give you the best answer I can give you with the couple of palettes I have. So, or I mean, with the a couple I choose for that question since I have so many. Um, okay, so I'll just get started. So let's get started, Petrova. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first question is the best packaging. Um, and for me, I would have to say that my Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette has the best packaging. Cause I mean, come on. I, I think I bought this mainly because of the way it looked and it was just a bonus so I love every single shade in the palette as well but the, just the packaging on its own is just, just pretty glam gold and so pretty and it's called the Too, Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette um, and I'll show you the inside of it later when it, it comes to the, the, the next question because uh, there's two questions that, can, that I chose for this palette. Alright, so that's for best packaging. Okay, so the next question is um, the best color payoff. And for me, I chose this Tarte um, limited edition palette. And it looks like this um, on the outside. And I have no idea where you can, like, it was just like a weird, it's an, <clears throat> it's an Amazonian clay eyeshadow palette. And I saw it one one night um, while I was online shopping on Sephora. I saw it online one time and I bought it like instantly and I've never heard anyone talk about it. I've never seen anyone use this ever. I've never heard anything about it. But I think it has really good color payoff. Um, and it comes with like a little sheet right here. And there's just a whole bunch of neutrals like that. There's like browns, coppers, a little bit of like purple, like a purple brown. It's pretty, pretty gold color. Some nice highlight colors. It's a dark, dark, dark purple. Um, I'll swatch a, a couple for you. Um, even though I kind of I feel bad putting this one in the in the in the video because you can't even get it anymore. But any tart um, any tart products are so good quality, so um, you can't go wrong with tart. Um, let me swatch this one. I'll swatch this gold for you. One, two, two swipes. One, two. <laughs> and there's oh well, that wasn't a very good swatch. Maybe because. Let me do a better swatch. Look at that. It's so pretty. Now let me do... Let me do this... This pretty purple one right here. Let me do this one. It's so pretty. I love it. And... All these are so buttery and so pretty. And number three is the most versatile, ver the most versatile palette. So it's like, I, I mean, I guess you could take it cu a couple different ways. Um, like, like versatile for you, like does it have like a blush or a bronzer in it? Or versatile could mean like, does it have, for me, I would think a versatile palette would be like, does it have colors and neutrals? Cause I, I never know what I'm gonna be in the mood for that day. Like today I was in the mood for like a, br a blue color. Uh, look, so I chose a colored look, but then some days I'm just totally boring and just want a total neutral look. So for me, versatile means that it has um, color and neutral. 
So I chose a couple palettes for this one. The first one, actually they're both from BH Cosmetics, but the first one I've had for a while, and I love it. I love this, this palette to death. I love it. It's the Special Occasion palette, and it has 39 eyeshadows and blushes, well, and 39 eyeshadows plus blushes. Um, and it just looks like this. As you can see, over here is mainly neutrals, and it kind of has some colors here and there. And then these are um, highlighters and blushes. But I totally, um, what I do is I, if, like if I want like a, a red eye, I'll, I'll use this in my eye with, you know, all of these. Like it doesn't really matter. It's all the same thing. Um, so I love this because it's, it's, it really is versatile for me. Um, it has everything I need pretty much um, other than like glitter, but I don't use glitter that often. So I love this. And these, anything for me is totally cheap. So BH is totally awesome. I love it. And then the next uh, palette from BH that I chose is one that a palette that I just got recently that my mom that my mom got me. Um, it's the Shanix So the Remix palette, and it looks like that. Um, and there's uh, there's there's nine eyeshadows per side. On this side, there's like pinks and purples. And then on the other side, there's more neutral awesome like as I, as I said before like that's what versatile means to me is if it has a good mix of colors and these are all really good um, pigmentation also they're really buttery which I was really surprised at that they're like comparable to some high-end stuff because not all BH products are good quality like the special occasion palette like there's some shadows that are really good and then there's some that are kind of chalky so I I don't know if they've changed their formula since then BH but um I know that sometimes it's like a hit or miss with some of their things, so. All right, so the next question is, what is the best palette for traveling? Um, for me, I don't really go anywhere, like I don't travel much, but I would have to say if I had to choose one, I would choose the um, Naked One palette, um, just because, I mean, I don't know. Like, if I was traveling, I don't think I would be too experimental with my makeup. I think I would just go just, you know, for what I know, just kind of every day. If I was traveling so I would choose the Naked One palette or any of the Naked palettes to be honest I mean, also I wanted to add a question to it I wanted to um, add like what was your first love of a palette like what what made you fall in love like what was the first palette that you said yes I love this I love makeup I love whatever and for me it was the first Naked palette I um, this is my first high-end product ever and it was my Urban Decay Naked palette and I just loved I, I never felt makeup that was so buttery before I'm like well I don't know makeup could be this soft and this luxurious and that was it for me I tried this and I went high-end makeup crazy and since then I've been in love with high-end makeup so the naked one did it for me <laughs> okay so the next question is what is your biggest regret and for me this is like a no-brainer I know which palette it is for sure but it's also a kind of funny it's um, also kind of funny because it's the uh, it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So um, it is the Stila in the Garden palette. Um, and I really wanted the Stila um, in the Light palette, which is like the purple one. Um, but I, at the last minute, I was like, no, let me try something different. Just, um, I, I don't know what made me buy this one instead of the one I really wanted, but I bought this one. And I, I'm just not happy with it. Like, I guess I'm just not a big fan of Stila. Um, I just think that I have a lot of high-end palettes and this one is just, one that's just not very pigmented. Oh, I mean, it is. It's more pigmented than like a drugstore palette, but it just doesn't do it for me. The colors just look kind of blah. I mean, they didn't really pop out at me. Like they all just kind of look kind of boring. Even like the colored ones, like it just looks kind of boring to me. I don't know. I've just never ever liked this palette since the day I got it. I should have returned it because you can return makeup at Sephora um, and online. You can send it back. I should have done that, but I didn't. Um, so I just, I try to use it every now and then just to see if I like it again, and I still don't really. I'm wearing the blue color on my eye today. Um, I mean, I don't hate it, hate it, but I mean, I, I don't reach for it that much, so. Um, that's my biggest regret, I guess. Um, the only shade I really, really love in here is the shade Honey. It's a really nice one just for like every day. Um, so yeah, that's my biggest regret of the palette. The question is, what is the palette that has the best color names? Um, for me, I would have to go back to my Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette, and the names on here are so funny. Um, let me read you off them. They are Dainty, Charming, Girly, 
Totally Fetch, like from Mean Girls, Totally Fetch. Um, Miss Sparkles, Jailbird, Badass, Instigator, Gangsta, and Ringleader. So I just, I just think these are totally girly and fun and cute. So that's, I think these have the best names. All right, so the next, the next question is, what is the least used palette in your collection? And surprisingly, it is my um, Naked 2 and 3 palette. I, I used my first Naked palette a lot when I first bought it, but for some reason, I, I, never, I, I always forget to reach for my uh, Naked 2 and my Naked 3. Um, I think I reach for my Naked 2 a little bit more, just because they're cool toned and I don't have hardly any cool toned shadows, so. Um, I don't reach for these as often, but I totally should because I love them. I, that's, like I said before, I fell in love with um, Urban Decay when I tried it, my first high-end product. And now it's like a thing. I have to collect almost everything that Urban Decay comes out with because I'm just obsessed with Urban Decay. Um, but I just, I never reach for these, so I should. Um, my Naked 3, um, I don't reach for hardly at all. Um, but I think they're so pretty. Like, I just, I, I need to reach for them more because they're awesome. That. Look at that, look at that shade, it's so pretty. And there's pretty pinks, I just love it. So I, I need to make a, an effort to use these a lot more. And the last question is, what is your most loved, most used, your, des your desert island palette? Like if you could only have one palette with you forever, what would it be? And I, I chose, I think I chose two. No, I chose, what did I choose? I don't know, hold on, let me see what I chose. Okay, so I chose four palettes. I don't know what I was thinking. I, it was really hard for me to decide, obviously. Um, but I chose four palettes that I could not live without. Um, so I guess I would have to like smuggle them in. If I had to only choose one, I would have to sm smuggle them. <laughs> um, but they're all from well, they're all from Urban Decay except for one. Um, the first one is this one from um, the Urban Decay collection, the Pulp Fiction. Um, and I just I seriously love this palette to death. It's just and it's so simple. It's just simple, boring little palette. There's a black and a white, a shimmery white, a tan, and a brown. But I feel like, I, I, I wish Urban Decay came out with this eyeshadow individually, because this is like the perfect crease color right here. It's called Tyranny, and I just love this palette to death. And I don't use it, like I, like, well this is my most used palette, but like I use it, but I use don't use it as much as I would, would like to, because once this runs out, you can't repurchase it. It's, it's a limited edition, so it's like, I use it, like a lot but I want to use it more so that's like a boring like like neutral palette but if I had to choose one like to go along with it like if I like, on, on the days where I want color I would have to choose my BH Hollywood palette and this palette is insane um, it just has so many colors like look at all these bright colors look at that because uh, this is the only pure red eyeshadow I have in my whole collection and look at this pink and this green and yellow, like that's so pretty. And these these are pretty too, the, the blushes. I don't use these that much, but I definitely reach for the eyeshadows a lot on the days I want color, so. I love this palette to death. And then I the last two that I chose that I could not, I could not not, I couldn't leave out, I couldn't leave these out, are these two Urban Decay palettes. Um, they, they're also limited edition, I, I really need to, <laughs> Stop buying limited edition stuff because it's like, if I want to talk about it in a video, it's like none of y'all can go get it. Um, but I chose these two because Urban Decay, like they put together their their best selling eyeshadows, like their their top ten or whatever. Like every few years, they put together a palette of their most sold and most worn eyeshadows. So this is one of them. And it has a skull on it, and I guess these were the top ten of I don't know of that year or of whatever, but. I just feel like there's everything. There's color and there's neutral, so I love that. And then here's another one that is the top 12, actually. And this green, I don't have anything that, that, that like that green right there. The green is just so beautiful. So yeah, th those are my most loved palettes, my, like my most used, my, my desert island palettes. Alright, so that is the whole tag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't too... Um, every all over the place and rambly because I, I tend to get like that um, I tend to just ramble on and on and not make much sense, but um, I'll try to edit it out really well So it, it won't bug too many people 
But yeah, that's the whole tag and I had fun doing it. So I'll talk to you guys another time. Bye.